Blue bonds are being sold as a way to help struggling nations reduce their debt. It works like refinancing a mortgage, only instead of lowering your monthly payment and taking the extra money to redo your kitchen, you're spending it on conservation projects. The test case for the concept is the small Central American country of Belize, which has become a flashpoint for discussion involving hundreds of millions of dollars, including plenty of American money. Where's that money going? And can it really help? Once we get to the reef, you'll see it, but it extends almost the length of the country, about 190 miles, or give or take. Australia's Great Barrier Reef gets all the attention, but Belizeans call their barrier reef the largest living reef in the world, inhabited by 500 species of fish and 350 species of sharks. You can see the manatees right there where you see all the trails. You see the, the, the light gray. Oh yeah, I do see the manatees. The colors are just incredible. And when the sun hits it on this angle. Wow. Gustavo Garon of Astrum Helicopters showed us the famous Great Blue Hole, a thousand foot wide and 400 foot deep sinkhole which began forming during the Ice Age. It looks like a flight right? Belize is a nation overflowing with this kind of beauty and also constantly beset by debt, a country that doesn't pay its bills. Belize is also now a test lab for blue bonds. A blue bond is essentially a way of putting value on in this case, our oceans. Julie Robinson is with the Nature Conservancy. In the case of Belize, what we were able to do was to restructure old debt that we had or bonds that we had into new bonds, into these blue bonds that are more sustainable um, and that also provide greater benefits back to the country. Blue bonds let Belize shave 45% off their debt by, among other things, promising to leave the barrier reef intact and to protect 30% of all ocean water by 2026. And you have a spot marked? It would also potentially allow projects like this to grow. How is the shark population in Belize now? Um, so that's what we're in the middle of really getting a hard and fast answer on. Start time was 8.10. Jessica Quinlan is a PhD student and part of a team that's been monitoring shark health here for over 20 years. That includes tagging sharks with radio and satellite transmitters. As apex predators, sharks are critical for maintaining balance in the ocean. Right now, it just seems like you don't have enough information. You know, we don't. So preliminarily, what we're seeing is that some species are being caught at sustainable levels, and the fishing pressure they're experiencing is something they can handle. But the larger body sharks that typically take longer um, to grow, mature, and produce young, some of those species are experiencing a fishing pressure that we suspect might not be sustainable. The Belizean government feels that blue bonds won't just pay for preserving the future, but also serve a more immediate need. Christopher Coy is with Belize's Ministry of Finance. Some of this money isn't going necessarily towards big ideas, but it's like gas for police to enforce fishing laws, which you can't do right now, correct? Yes, there's a um, capacity issue. So we need to build capacity for enforcement for those, those things that you mentioned. But here's where it gets complicated. The deal between Belize and the Nature Conservancy uses funds insured by a U.S. government agency known as the Development Finance Corporation. If Belize defaults on these, Belize is not responsible for it. The U.S. is. Why should American taxpayers accept that risk? Well, I think this is really the, the positives in this um, blue, blue bond transaction is the, the, the relationship that it, it um, that it established with the U.S.'s Development Finance Corporation. I think that, that in, in general, um, you can get into the legals of it, but ultimately Belize is responsible. If Belize couldn't pay its debts before, why do you think it can pay them now even though it's less? The main difference now and what will allow for Belize to pay 
pay back its debt is that they're much better terms. So the payments are lower, they're extended over a longer period of time. So it just puts Belize in a much better place. One analysis said that of the more than $350 million, only $24 million goes to conservation. Is that acceptable for you? So I think that there's been some misinformation. It was $23.5 million that the government placed in an endowment that's going to grow over 20 years and be above $90 million. But in addition to that, the government is making payments uh, annually of roughly $4.2 million per year over a 20-year period. Greenpeace and dozens of other environmental groups have criticized blue bonds, saying the deals lack transparency and rack up huge fees. They also fear outside investors will merely claim to be helping the environment just for PR purposes, a practice often called greenwashing. But Belize and the Nature Conservancy insist blue bonds could be transformational, not just here, but globally. If you want this to spread, this concept around the world, it seems like there's a lot of pressure on Belize to get it right. Sure, there is a lot of pressure on Belize. All eyes right now are on Belize. It's, it's aspirational, but it's also what we're working towards together in partnership. So when we come back in 10 years, we won't have to ask the question, where did all the money go? When you come back in 10 years, I hope that you will go out to the reefs and you will see where the money is gone. Is that an open invitation? It is an open invitation, absolutely. You've got one massive environmental group saying this is a great idea, it mm -hmm. can save the oceans. You've got another big environmental group saying it's a terrible idea and it's not well executed. What are the risks beyond the money? I mean, of the enforcement angle of it, I, I just don't see how they're able to make uh, it work. I mean, is it possible in that aspect? Well, we don't know yet. I mean, it's so early in. I mean, this is a 19-year commitment, and we're just at the beginning of it. You know, some of the questions being asked are, where is all this money going? Is it all lawyer fees? Is it legal fees? Other things like that. Is it actually going to be effective? It's a huge red flag with those, but sometimes you have to take that risk That's right. in order to help.